G'day guys, it's Jessie Holton here, stamping up demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. I shared a little reel earlier using this Taco Fiesta stamp set to make these adorable, adorable cards. Love this stamp set. But I thought that I would just quickly jump on and make one with you guys. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch to do. Um, I do love a good bulk card making session and I think if you're going to come up with a um you know a design you might as well get the most of it and do a bunch of them so I've got here this is actually retired paper um from the Christmas catalogue it's called Celebrate Everything, I think. How many have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super cute paper, really fun prints, really fun colours. It's not totally Christmassy at all. Like, I mean, there's, there's a few Christmas prints in there, but there's a lot of stuff in there that you can just make um for normal cards so that's always handy I'm gonna stamp all of these why do i have one extra just can't count obviously <laughs> ah. all right so I'm going to give these a quick, oops, quick wipe. Now I do apologise if you're chatting to me. I do love a comment and a share. Um, but my camera is just above my line of sight. So I'll jump up every so often and check the comments. But say hello. Tell me where you're joining me from today. Um, now a little tip with this, because it is really fine, actually I might just dump these as I go because my verse marks teensy bit dry. There's those fancy little um what was I saying? Yeah, tell me where you're from, where you're crafting from today. Drive all of that stuff in the box. <laughs> Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. This stamp set is so freaking cute. Seriously, can't get over it. And I love, actually, I really do love this new um, embossing kit. How cute is it? So you get the you get the embossing kit, and you get the little tray. So I won't have to put my um, embossing powders into these tubs anymore. I can just keep them in the little jar. That they come in which is so much better for storage right and then you just pour it on over the little tray that they give you and the little tray has um like a, a hole at one end but it's plugged so when you're done you just unplug it and you can put it back in you can put it back in the the little jar again so that's handy and it comes with these really fancy tweezers which I love they're like so you squeeze them to open them um, but then you don't need to keep any pressure on them to keep them closed so that makes life much easier
I don't know if you guys, do you guys want to watch me make 10 of these or you just want to make, watch me make one? <laughs> um, oh, so what I was going to say before, actually, I've remembered now, um, was because the stamp set is polymer and the font is really small. So just be careful um, when you're pressing down that you don't press down too hard because it'll squash your little letters and change the size of the font and make it tricky, make it tricky to read. You guys can vote if you want to watch me make cards in bulk or just single cards and then I'll take that <laughs> in mind for future videos and not put you through it if you don't want to watch it. <laughs> um, oh. oh, that was lucky. And didn't mess that up. Uh, so, these green sentiments that I'm doing are uh, Granny Apple Green, which you could use parakeet as well. Parakeet's close enough, but I had both, so I decided to use granny apple because it had that sort of deeper slightly deeper green to it <clears throat> more avocado-y uh, and i've used the label me fancy punch and then what did I do with my stamp? There it is. These ones I've done with the Label Me Lovely stamp uh, punch. The grip on these tweezers is so strong. I'm quite impressed with them actually. I've had them a few months but I really haven't used them because, you know, I'm set in my ways. <laughs> Who wants to change anyway? Just keep doing the same old thing all the time, right? <laughs> um, And I like that the Additions Kit comes with a little brush as well. So if you do get like a little bit of excess um, powder on your thing, one of your heat embossing, um, then you can just use the little brush to get it off, which is really handy. Okay, almost done with the sentiments. Um, so you'll see that I have already done my little characters here on the side of my tray, tray, page, sheet. Lost for words today. Um, and so I've done them all with Memento ink. 
um, and then I use the blends to colour them in. Uh, and so I have used Real Red, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, Soft Suede for the avocado seed and um, Pool Party. And I took those colours out of the paper basically. Well I wanted to use the granny apple brain for the avocado anyway but it just made sense because it all was also the color that was oh i think i've done an extra one didn't i because i had too many um it was also in that paper and then daffodil delight was the yellow that was in that paper and i wanted these guys to be like red red so i don't know what red is in the paper I think it's probably the strawberry, not strawberry, sweet sorbet, um, but pool party is also in that paper as well. Anywho, let's have a quick look and see who's saying hello. Hi Charmaine, hi Jenny, hi Rita. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, so I've already got my backing bits done. So these are the paper is 14.1 by 9.7 and the basic white is 14.3 by 9.9 .9. um, and then I have also already cut and scored my cardstock which is also granny apple green and these are scored A4 sheets scored at 10.5 and then cut at 14.85 okay so the other thing that I'm using is vellum. Get rid of that. So what I want to do is grab a sheet of vellum and I'm just going to cut this. at 10.5 which means that my paper is cut in half and then we're going to tear it because I like to have a little bit of extra texture I guess so I'm just going to tear it along the edge. The very first one is the hardest one because I'm going to try to keep it thin. But then after you've done that, it tears really easily. Two, three, doesn't matter if it's straight, four, ready to go. Ah, you can feel the you can feel all of the um powder on my desk. I don't like the feeling of the powder. Alright. We want ter um stamping seal. Do you like that's my stamping seal? <laughs> 
we are going to put a line down the center just one one is plenty hold these on in place and these cards are all going to be similar but not exactly the same And the vellum, I realised after I'd done the card, I mean, I really like using tone on tone, but sometimes you just need to break it up a bit. <laughs> and um, I had too much green on the card. It was all just fading into each other. So you couldn't tell what was going on in the card. So that is why I added the vellum. Vellum is a fantastic way to just add a layer and break up the background. If you've got a really busy background on your card, then using the vellum is a great way just to break that up a little bit. Okay. going to add these and I'm going to keep with the vellum, I mean vellum, keep with the stamping seal as opposed to liquid glue because it dries so much easier on the vellum. If you, you can use liquid glue, there's nothing wrong with liquid glue, it will just take a lot longer to dry. And it is the last week of school holidays. So my kids start school on the 30th of January and Luke is doing grade two and Ryan's starting prep. So that's super exciting. We'll have a lot more time to do more crafting videos and videos with my team, organise myself a little bit better, hopefully. <laughs> um, and also, I am going for laser eye surgery tomorrow. Only a day away. <laughs> nice little any reference in there for you guys. Anyone else into sing along movies? Um, all right. So that's why I'm crafting like a mad person today, trying to get everything done and off my craft desk because I know I'm going to be out of action for a week or two maybe. I don't know. We shall wait and see. Because... They reckon that's how long it usually takes for people to be able to drive again. So we shall see if um, 
how long it takes for me to be able to craft. <laughs> Fingers crossed it all goes well and the recovery doesn't take too long. But I shall see if I can try and get some posts. Maybe I'll schedule some posts this afternoon or tomorrow morning. down in Melbourne and I am in Geelong so gonna drive down there tomorrow and then my husband's working in Melbourne tomorrow so he's gonna catch the train down in the morning and then drive my car home after the surgery he's gonna come and get me because I will likely have little patches over my eyes so I'll be blind as a bat for a day or two That means that you may not see me posting on here. Try and keep you guys updated. Let you know how I go. It's an exciting thought to prospect to be getting rid of my glasses. I probably should have done it a long time ago. Now I have the right amount of green bits. Does that work? How does that work? I don't know. My counting is off today, obviously. Or I've lost a piece, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I had too many, but now I seem to have just the right amount. Don't know what's going on. All right. So next up, we are going to do the little characters. I'm going to start with the avocado, and I'm also going to use some mini. Put that off on the side there. And then we've got a little guac bowl. And our little this guy's so cute. I love his. So it's actually separate stamps. The face is a separate stamp. So you can choose if you want it to have. Where's the stamp set gone? There's a smiley face, a surprised face, a wink. A little closed eye smiley face whoops um, and then there's the mustache face so you can choose what face you want your little um, character to have and the little faces also fit on the chip the taco the cactus and the burrito so Lots of options there to make some really cute little characters and they're super fun to colour in but also you don't need to colour them in. I mean I've coloured these ones but look I haven't coloured those in and they look super cute. I'm just gonna wedge that behind. There we go. How cute is that? So cute! So cute. Okay, get it together, Jessie. Death by cuteness over here. Now, this little guy has fallen off his. Is that better? Put him back on his glue dot. So cute. Uh, so I'm using these adhesive back sequins and gems. I think these are from the Christmas catalogue, which means that they're probably retired as well. 
um, but there are lots and lots of cute sequins and embellishments in our catalog um, so what I might do actually is I'll just finish off this card and then I'll hop off because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me make 10 of the same things I don't think you get the idea do a production line do you like my blister <laughs> bit too uh bit too eager in the garden yesterday did lots of digging and stuff and the little shovel had a rough bit on the end of it that was I didn't realize was rubbing my hand until of course a chunk of my hand came away but I came off better than David David managed to pin himself on a nail so he had this a rusty old nail go through with his finger he went into the hospital and got stitches and a tetanus shot so he's okay bit, bit tender poor thing alrighty so I've got daffodil delight granny apple green and real red which are the same colors that I've used on the front I'm going to start with the Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to pop that two thirds of the way up and it's not quite centered, but you know, that's what I was aiming for. <laughs> I was aiming, aiming for centered. Then we have our Spectacular. So it's Taco, Spectacular. A great little pun and then we have the little chili and little tequila little hat like sombrero it's like the tequila bottle hat <laughs> all right so that is that I shall make up the rest off screen I won't bore you with my repetitive card making. But how cute is that? So cute. So these images are really sweet. Can colour them. They're lots of fun to colour. But you can also just stamp them plain. Um, and I also made this guy earlier. So this is a little um, granny apple green. So black stamped on granny apple green. So you could just stamp on the coloured cardstock as well to make all of these little characters if you didn't want to colour them in. Anywho, that is that. I hope that you've enjoyed this quick crafting video. Please do like and share my page. I love the support. Um, and if you live in Australia, you can shop with me or join my team. There is a really, really, really good deal on at the moment for joining um, so if you are a regular Stamping Up shopper, definitely check out joining. I have a lovely team of, there's about, I think there's 44 girls at the moment, last count. Um, and we would all love to be your friend. <laughs> um, so let me know if you've got any questions about the joining deal. It is absolutely fantastic value. So you get $315 worth of stuff, whatever you want. Um, for $169 um, and if you want you can include the mini um, stamping cart and emboss machine in your kit as well for half price so that is really really brilliant they've got it in this limited edition boho blue or you can choose the plain white one as well so great 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 deal and of course there's celebration on at the moment as well which means that when you shop for every $90 that you order you get to choose a freebie and they've got really great freebies this year it's all stamp sets and papers so awesome value there as well anywho I'll leave it there if you guys have any questions whatsoever please let me know hi Chrissy hi Marion hi Pauline Ah, thanks, Chrissy. Thanks, Kayla. Oh, they are so adorable. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. I, I just read your comment about the bird of paradise plant. I thought my husband wanted to get rid of it, which is why I posted it online. And now he's like, no, we need to replant it somewhere. So that was awkward. Anyway, hi, Mary. Thanks for watching, guys. I do really appreciate you watching um, and your support. And if you have any questions, do let me know. But definitely grab this adorable, adorable stamp set. It is super cute. So every project that I've seen, like everyone making it with it so far, has been so, so, so cute. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys later. Have a good one.